Hello and welcome to this video tutorial on how to use QLM 6.0. In this tutorial, I will show you how to configure the QLM application to connect to a QLM web service. The QLM application displays its data by connecting to a remote QLM web service. To configure the connection to the QLM web service, create a profile by clicking on the plus button, then Fill in the fields as follows. URL. The URL to the QLM web service is typically of this form. Authentication method. Anonymous, forms authentication, and Windows authentication. In most cases, you will want to configure the web service for anonymous authentication. Database. Select whether the database you installed on the server uses Microsoft Access or Microsoft SQL Server. Database Schema When a new version of QLM is released, the QLM database schema may require updating. This button verifies and updates your DB schema as required. Path to Products File the products you define in QLM are initially stored locally on your computer. Once you are satisfied with your product's definition, your products need to be uploaded to the QLM database. QLM automatically detects if your products are out of sync with the server and prompts you to either upload or download products from the server. If you want to force an update, click on the appropriate button in this section. Use this feature with caution as you may inadvertently overwrite the QLM database with the wrong products or vice versa. Communication or Admin Encryption Key Communication between a client and the QLM web service is protected via an encryption mechanism that prevents hackers from directly calling your web service. This is critical due to the fact that the web service is typically configured to allow anonymous connections. Test. Once you have configured all fields, click on the Test button to validate that you can properly connect to the QLM web service. Errors detected in the QLM web service are stored in the QLM database. To view these events, click on the Event Log button. At times, you may want to increase the verbosity of the messages that the QLM web service logs. This can be accomplished by updating the Logging Level setting in the web.config file of the QLM web service. The highest logging level is 15. The recommended value is 3. If you increase the logging level to 15 to diagnose a special issue, remember to set it back to 3 to avoid bloating of your QLM database. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video.